Assalamu alaikum. This presentation is on another um, suturing technique for repair of uh, lumen of hollow organs like the pharynx, stomachs, and intestine. It has the advantages of all the extra mucosal uh, techniques of suturing, but in addition, it's probably the technique that saves uh, time and resources most. The Schmidden extra mucosal suture is a continuous suture and has the three main elements of any continuous suturing pattern of starting with one um, anchoring uh, stitch where you have your first knot and ending with a final knot and in between there is a continuous pattern. For the anchoring stitch, you can just have a simple uh, suture between a point on either side of the uh, incision towards the apex, or if you would prefer to have it more securely, you can have a reversed horizontal mattress anchoring stitch, starting here at one, going up beyond the uh, apex of the uh, incision, and then once you have the um, conventional horizontal mattress suture, you can tie the knot and then start your uh, uh, continuous pattern from there. As you see, if you have the knot at four, you can go from four to the next level diagonally. In the Cushing technique, you would go vertically parallel to the wound. In the Lampert technique, you would have to do a vertical mattress suture going across the wound but this uh, technique, the Schmieden, goes diagonally between one level and the other under the surface, and then you have the suture going across the wound uh, horizontally. So we're starting um, the anchoring stitch for the Schmieden by doing the reversed uh, horizontal mattress suture, going from below the apex to beyond the apex, and then returning back. And then you can tie your first knot and you've left a conventional uh, reversed horizontal mattress uh, suture with a loop above the apex. Very important features of this Schmidt extra mucosal suture is that you will be avoiding any puncturing of the mucosal layer. Remember, we are working now on the surface of the lumen. And um, so the um, this will be the serosa layer and the mucosa will be deeper in the wound and in between you have the uh, muscular layer and the submucous layer. Uh, so the main feature is that you should be avoiding puncturing of the mucosa layer. You would take your bite at the edge of the uh, wound, avoiding the mucosa layer just in the um, uh, layer ab above the mucosa and come out at the serosa and then repeat on the other side. The other thing is that you will be moving from one level to the next diagonally across the wound rather than parallel or uh, perpendicular to the wound itself. So we're starting now on the second level after uh, the anchoring stitch and we've been through the edge of the wound, sparing the mucosa, come out at the uh, serosa, repeat on the other side, again, sparing the mucosa, coming out um, at the serosa at the next level. And you're just going to repeat this until uh, you reach the end of the wound going from one level to the next diagonally. So the suture um, strand that is going to be left towards the surface, toward the serosa, will be a horizontal, while the suture uh, underneath the wound is going to be diagonal between one uh, level and the next. It's quick because you only have two punctures at every level compared, for example, to the Lampert where you have four. 
and you advance and towards um, in each level towards the next um, quicker to, and also save more on your suture. And by saving any uh, mucosal puncture, you decrease the incidence of leak and uh, post-operative infection and morbidities. Now that you have um, approached the end of the incision, you would start to consider uh, finalizing the suture line. Um, you again do the usual pattern, extra mucosal bite, come out of the serosa. Now cross to the other side at the same level, rather than moving diagonally. Retrieve the needle, it, you have a loop on one side and you have a single strand on the other and you can end up with an Aberdeen uh, knot or if you prefer you can just tie a knot between a single strand and the loop and by this you can secure the final knot and finalize the suture line. This will bring us to the end of this presentation on the Schmieden extramucosal continuous suture, which is perhaps one of the commonest ways of um, doing a pharyngoplasty after total laryngectomies or partial laryngectomies, but it's also very useful in repairing other uh, the lumen of other hollow organs as well. Salam alaikum.